Hi, Miss Sherry here from the Community Library Network at Post Falls, and I'm so excited that you tuned in today. We are going to do something a little different. As you can tell, you are in my kitchen. Yes, this is my kitchen, and we are gonna do something a little different. We're gonna make a musical instrument today. Now, I'm excited to share this with you. We are going to make something really special. And I'm gonna give you a hint. Are you ready? Here we go. What do you think it is? That's right, we're gonna make a shaker. Now this is a shaky egg, okay? Now it's a rhythm instrument, and what that means is it keeps a beat. So we can do this, and we keep a beat. Now the beat is what is the heartbeat of music. So without rhythm, we can't have music. That's be like you not having a heart. Your body won't work without a heart and music doesn't work without a beat. So we're gonna make a rhythm instrument today, a shaker, but we're not gonna make eggs. Okay, now you can play these a few different ways. You can make a round sound or you can do like I showed you in my hand or you can just do the shaky sound. You can play it quiet or really obnoxiously. Even on your body, you can play it different ways. So the shaker can be played a variety. You might even be able to come up with a few of your own types of shaking. So, but we're gonna make our very own today. Now, I did bring some things now it's not just out of my kitchen. It's just basically you can make things, instruments out of just anything in your house. So one of the first things, my husband came in and he was drinking some Gatorade, okay? So he was drinking Gatorade. So I, I said, hurry up and drink all that because I need it. So I can show them that they can make an instrument. So you're gonna take it, you can even take the outside plastic off and you can decorate it with markers, you can write, wrap yarn around it, or you can get decoupage and, and, and put paper color stuff all over it, however you wanna do it. You can make it however you want. All right, so you would screw off the lid and you would put something in there to shake, right? Okay, so you could use a water bottle, that would make it a shaker. I also have a creamer bottle now I have lots of these because I actually have a little coffee with my creamer. <laughs> so I have a few of these. These make great shakers. They have the lid and then you can take the lid down to make sure that it's secure and fill it with something and shake it as well. And if this isn't good enough, you can always go to the big size and make a big one. Whoa. And these almost look like a maraca, okay? So you can decorate this any way you want. You could put rocks in it. You could put rice in it. You could put sand in it. Sand's a little harder to make good sound because sand is pretty heavy. Um, you can put coins in it. You could put, um, oh, just any kind of things in there that make a sound when they shake. This, now mine's gonna be a little unconventional. Okay, so I went into my laundry room and I found the perfect bottle. For me to do this today are you ready okay so this is what it looks like <gasps> these are little crystal things that you put in your laundry when you're washing clothes to make them smell good okay so it already smells really good mm. so the cool thing about this bottle is you can peel it off just like the other ones and you can make something cool and decorate it just like we did the other ones however this has a double lid which is really super cool. So you've got two lids. You could glue this one down and then put this one on top, right? So it's got a double closure, so that kind of makes it nice if you're gonna do a shaker, right? Okay, so we're gonna take the lid off. This is the unconventional part. Okay, you ready? To put inside, I'm not gonna put rice. Rice would be awesome. We were also talking shells. You could put shells in there, um, just pebbles, just fun stuff. But today, Miss Sherry's gonna go a little bit out of the box. No pun intended. Are you ready? Here we go. We are going to use today, <gasps> kitty litter, yay! Okay, 
So we're gonna put kitty litter in my shaker. Okay, this is the crystal kitty litter. My kitty is a little bit of a princess. So this is little crystals. I don't know if you can see. Okay, but I thought, oh my goodness, this would make an awesome sound in my shaker. So make sure above all else, listen very closely, lean in. I want you to listen. Are you really listening? Do not use used kitty litter. Okay, don't do it. It won't turn out well. It's not good, okay? It's not healthy, don't use used kitty litter. You gotta get the fresh, clean stuff, okay? Thumbs up, good job. Okay, so I got a little scooper, okay? So I have a little scooper, and in my bottle, I have a funnel. Now this has a hole in it, do you see that hole? Okay, so you're gonna put it in there just like that. I'm gonna scoop in my clean kitty litter. Are you ready? Here we go. And I'm gonna drop it just like that. Now to get it to go down, you can see it's still in my funnel. You're gonna just shake, 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 shake. Now remember that any instrument making has to have permission of mom and mom has to be close by to make sure you're not doing something crazy, okay? Okay, so my litter, come on. There, I think it was plugged up. Not, trust me, it is clean litter. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I've got that in there. My funnel's empty, so I'm gonna grab another scoop because I want it to be about half full. All right, so there's my second cup. And I just use a measuring cup as a, as a scooper because it just works really good. Just make sure you clean it afterwards. Okay. However you need to get it in there, try not to be too crazy so you get clean cat litter everywhere. You can use whatever your mom says you can use. If you don't have cat litter, it's not the end of the world. So this is my third scoop because we want it to be about half full. And right now it's just about to there. So we want it a little bit more. So here we go. Does this sound like a shaker yet? <laughs> okay, here we go. Getting down there, getting down there. Come on. Okay, there we go. We have an empty funnel and you wanna put these either in the dishwasher or wash them really good, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put my kitty litter away. All right, so I have it full now. So what I would recommend is putting a little bit of glue right here and then popping your lid down, safe and secure, and then put your really cool looking lid. Okay, and here we go. You ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three. What do you think? I think it sounds pretty good. Let's see if I can play it against my hand. So if you had a lot of these, what you could do is you could make a shaker band. So go on to our Facebook, go to groups, Imagination Builders, and post a picture of your shaker. I would love to see it. I'd love to see you playing it. And if you decorate it, I'd love to see all the decorations. So go home and happy shaking. Bye-bye now.